You are welcome back to this channel. So we define sequence as the list of numbers that are governed by some rules. And those rules could be addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. Now, if you now add the sequence together, addition of terms of a sequence is known as series. So the first term plus the second term plus the third term till we get to the nth term is what we refer to as series. For example, if you have 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 and so on, so that is an infinite series. B, 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8 plus 10, that is a finite series, that is, it has ends, it doesn't go beyond. 3 plus 9 plus 15 plus 21 and so on is also an infinite series. 5 plus 10 plus 15 plus 20 plus 25 is a finite series. Sum of the first nth term of an arithmetic progression. Suppose the first term is A. Small letter A is the first term. And D is the common difference. Since we are dealing with AP, common difference. So the list of that sequence will be A, then second term will be A plus D. We have done video on that one. So the third term will be A plus 2D, A plus 3D, so we get to A plus N minus 1D, which is the nth term. So here is the sequence. Now, we now want to write it in series form to be A plus. So, sum of this sequence, let's represent this with A subscript N, will be equal to A, that is the first term, plus the second term, plus the third term, plus 2D, plus. A plus 3D plus, so we get to the nth term, A plus N minus 1D, the nth term. Now, if we now reverse it, it's still the same thing, to be equal to A, sorry, so we are starting from the nth term, so sum of series will be equal to a plus n minus 1d. Then second to the last term will be a plus n minus 2d plus till we get to second term, then the first term. So let's call this one equation 1 and call this one equation 2. Now, Adding equation 1 and equation 2. Equation 1 and equation 2 gives the following. So we have Sn plus Sn, we have 2Sn is equal to a plus A plus N minus 1D, so be A plus A plus N minus 1D plus A plus D plus A plus N minus 2 brackets D. It be A plus D plus A plus N minus 2D. And so on, so we get to the last term plus the first term. So the last term will be A plus N minus 1D, then plus the first term. So 2SN be equal to A plus the last term, that is the nth term. Then plus, so let's bracket this one. Let's see what this, this one will give us. A plus D plus A, then let's expand this one, we have plus 
nd minus 2d plus dot 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 plus a plus a plus n minus 1d. So we have 2sn is equal to a plus last term plus here plus d minus 2d. This one gives us a plus a, then we have plus nd minus d, then plus dot 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 plus a. If you check this one, you can see that it's the same thing as the nth term, so plus nth term. So 2sn is equal to a plus nth term, plus here also we have a plus a plus you can see that d is common to this side so let's factorize d out we have a minus one d plus dot 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 plus a plus n term so 2sn will be equal to a plus cn plus this one also if you check this one very well it's the same thing as the n term so we have a plus n term plus plus a plus n term so you can see that everything gives us a plus n term 2sn is equal to we do not know the number of that a plus n term so because it goes to get to the uh, last term so we can say that the number let's use n to represent the number of a plus n term so from here if we want to make s n the subject of the formula that means we are going to divide both sides by two everything here by two so this one two cancel two so we are left with s n is equal to so we can say that n over two the a plus n term. So this formula is the sum of the first n term of an arithmetic progression. So recall that the nth term is the same thing as a plus open bracket n minus 1 multiplied by d. Where a is the first term, n is the number of terms, and d is the common difference. So also recall that the nth term is the same thing as the last term. as the last I've said that one in the previous video so represent it with L so that means from this formula equation 3 we can say that the sum of the first n term of an arithmetic progression is equal to n divided by 2 then a plus L where a is the first term and L is the last term n is the number of terms and hence n is the sum of the first n term of an arithmetic progression so also s n is equal to n over 2 a plus wherever we see l this one is still the same thing as l so let's put this equation that is a plus n minus 1 d so let's use big brackets to cover it so has n will now be equal to n over 2 into bracket a plus a 2a then plus n minus 1 d so it's either you use this for so this one is equation 4 or let's call this one equation 5 you can still use this one let's call this one equation 4 so it depends on the terms that you are given if you are given the first term and the last term and they ask you to find the 
number of terms, you can use the equation 3 or equation 4. So, but if you are asked to find the common difference or number of terms or anything, so you can go for equation 5. So they are the same thing. Equation 3 is the same thing as equation 4. Everything is the same thing as equation 5. So that is the formula for the sum of the first n term of an arithmetic progression. So let's have an example under that. Example 1. Find the sum of the first 24 even numbers. Solution. We know that the first even number is 2. That means 2 will be our A, the first term. So the second even number is 4. And the third one is 6 and so on. So uh, can we quickly know the 24th? Then 24th even number. So we can't quickly know it. So let's call it the nth term. So for us to find the nth term, remember the formula that is equal to the nth term or the last term. So let me call it the last term. That is the 24th even numbers. The last 24th even numbers. So will be equal to a plus n minus 1 multiply by d. And here, the first term is 2. And the common difference is equal to the second term minus the first term is equal to the third term minus the second term and so on. So here, the second term is 4 and the first term is 2. So that means the common difference is equal to 2. And the number of terms we have known it that is equal to 24. So let's substitute everything because we want to find which one will be the last term. So to find the last term or the nth term is the same thing. So let's substitute all these values inside this formula. So the first one is 2. That is the first term is 2 plus the number of terms is equal to 24 minus 1 and the common difference is equal to 2. So the nth term or the last term will now be equal to 2 plus 24 minus 1, 23. So 23 multiplied by 2. So the last term or the nth term will now be equal to 2 plus 23 multiplied by 2 is equal to 46. 46. So the last term will now be equal to 48. So let's write it here. So this one will be equal to 48. So we have known the last term now. So let's find the sum of the first 24 even numbers. And the formula for the sum, first, uh, sum of the first n term of an arithmetic progression is equal to Sn is equal to n divided by 2 to bracket the first term plus the last term. So since we have we are given the first term and we have find the value of the last term. So we can quickly use this formula. So the sum of the AP will now be equal to number of terms is equal to 24. So divided by 2. And the first term is equal to 2. The last term is equal to 48. So the sum of this AP will now be equal to 24 divided by 2, 12. Then 2 plus 48, 50. So, so is equal to 600. So instead of us to be adding it 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus so, you know we can easily make mistake. So this is the right formula for us to find the sum of the first n term of an a plus. So second example, example two. Find the sum of the first 20 terms of a p. 17 plus 12 plus 7 plus 2 plus till infinity. So here, solution. We can see that the first term is equal to 17. So let's find the common difference. It will be equal to the second term minus first term, which is equal to 12 minus 17. And the answer is equal to minus 5, negative 5. So, we can see that we do not know the last term here. So, this formula 
we cannot use this one now since we do not know the last term. So the one that we are going to use will be Sn, that is the sum of the first n term is equal to n divided by 2, then a 2a plus n minus 1d. So find the sum of the first 20 terms. So we have known the number of terms to be equal to 20. So Sn is 20. Will now be equal to wherever we see here we are, we are going to put 20 will be equal to 20 divided by 2 into bracket 2 multiplied by 17 plus 20 minus 1 and the common difference is equal to minus 5. So let's simplify the sum of the first 20 terms of this AP will now be equal to 20 divided by 2 10. 2 multiplied by 17, 34, plus 20 minus 1, 19, multiplied by minus 5. Sum of the first 20 terms will now be equal to 10 multiplied by 34, plus minus 95. So, sum of the first 20 times will be equal to 10 multiplied by 34 minus 95. So, the sum will be equal to 10 multiplied by minus 61. And the sum will now be equal to minus 610. So, therefore, the sum of the first 20 times of this AP 17 plus 12 plus 7 plus 2 plus da, da, da. so will be equal to minus 610. So let's stop here and continue in the next video. So till I see you in the next class, thank you and God bless you.